Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 2 once again. Yes, we're back with another Adventures episode, and we're driving the Raptor again, because this thing, as we found out last time, was an absolute monster. So, uh, we're going to keep pushing through this kind of race series with the Raptor. Might do some upgrades as we kind of progress, but, uh, hey, how you all doing? <laughs> That's a kind of, I like the, doing these, like, starting with the first episode or the second episode even, because that's mainly when the series actually began. But, we're going to cut across here, because why would we drive around? Uh, I'd like to know how you guys are doing, what you've been playing, all that kind of stuff. I think that's pretty cool about these, it's like more laid back, and I'm just like, yeah, how, how's it going, guys? Hang time? I wasn't in the air for that bloody long. Anyway, continuing with the Raptor here, I love that, it's, it's too tall. For the actual bloody cutscene to show the car, the top of the car, so it's like you only see part of the car. Oh great, it's raining. I've I've come to really just hate rain on this game for multiple multiple reasons. Like I I like the fact it's there. It looks pretty. It looks nice. I like the way it converts the land. But what I don't like is the fact that it makes my cars handle like shite. <laughs> That's uh, that's something that the oh my god, what are you doing? That's something that the weather does uh, annoy me with. He actually knocked over the tree. If that was my luck, I would have hit a tree that made me stop dead, and that thing is overtaking me. Bloody hell! Whoa! I have no idea what the hell happened just there. My guess is I hit some kind of up on the road, or that curb is just. The creator of evil, what the hell was that? That's so unfair. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that raptor in blue looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice indeed. But uh, in white, I'm not too sure on it in white. Move it, Bin. We've got things to do, people to see. And obviously, trees to hit, because apparently I like to hit every tree possible in a race. That's like the, the secondary objective for a race for me, just hitting everything possible. But, yeah, uh, so my day has been quite busy. I'm recording this later than I normally do, on the day of it going up, which is something I've kind of been trying to not do a lot recently, because it, it usually means I kind of rush to get things done, um, or, you know, I don't have the time and effort I want to put into it. I, I don't know, I've become more lazy unless I've got, like, a, a head start on getting the videos up and ready. Whoa, where's it telling me to go? I wasn't sure then. I was like, do I, do I go there? No, there's no checkpoint. I don't... Tree! But, uh, <laughs> yeah, today I, I thought, you know what, we're going to do one of these. Because these are kind of like, oh, trees, trees, oh, for crying out loud. I told you, trees are my worst enemy. I don't even care. We need to follow the signs so I don't hit the trees. But, yeah, I've been really busy today. Just I've worked on, eh, there's a tree there, mate. <laughs> uh, I've been working on two PCs recently, a laptop and a desktop. The motherboard have completely died on one of them, so they decided that they want to replace everything rather than uh, replace, you know, just the one thing, because it was kind of AM2 board, and if that confuses you, it was basically old, and he had two options, and he went with option B, <laughs> and the other laptop just wanted clearing, so. That was, that was quite simple, quite an easy one. The only annoying thing is Windows updates. Now, the reason that's annoying is because I just installed a uh, Service Pack 1 version of Windows 7, which meant trees. There's tr trees are like the worst thing when it comes to these type of races. I'm gonna have to restart this one, aren't I? Um, yeah, we might as well restart now. But it meant that I had to do 176 updates. 176 updates on uh, one machine, and that left it like running all night. But it's just annoying because you just like sat there, like I can't do anything more to you. I'm just literally playing a waiting game. But then. It was literally recording a podcast on that day as well. Yes, the podcast has been recorded, and uh, that's going to be up later in the week, because that's when we do it. Which is pretty cool. Um, the podcasts, I'm really enjoying doing those. So, uh, like, what I like, though, uh, what I'd like, though, is kind of, like, um, to, to plan ahead a lot more with them, so I can kind of get your guys' input like I did in the first one. I didn't really manage to do that on this one, so uh, you know, I didn't get any questions in because I didn't mention it, but... I'll be sure to do that, and obviously if you've got any topics we want to talk about, you can suggest those as well, because obviously, the more topics, the longer the podcast, the longer the podcast, the more content for you, yes. <laughs> but I don't want to keep it too long, because I just, I wouldn't be able to watch really long videos. 
myself. So, uh, yeah. We're doing much better this time, especially before you talk about the race now. <laughs> so, I'm in uh, third place now, which is a little better than I did last time. Because, good God, it handles so much weirder than I thought it would. Like, it feels... <laughs> and for some reason, it just felt like a completely changed handling model to something like Test Drive. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's odd. I'd probably say Test Drive Unlimited 2 is one of the best off-roading games I've played. Um, in the fact that I could go off-road in a Bugatti Veyron and do pretty well. Um, because it's all-wheel drive. And, and the Bugatti Veyron actually handled better off-road than it did on-road. I think the handling off-road in Test Drive Unlimited 2 was... Oh my god! It was bloody good. It felt, felt very uh, good. It felt a lot better than when driving on the road in high speeds in ridiculously powerful cars because they wouldn't turn. But uh, <laughs> that's that's something, right? Joash of Doom. Jawash? Jawa 5 something. And King White Man? I'm hoping it's Whitman, not White Man. <laughs> King White Man. Uh, I'm sure there were a few of those. No, I'm not sure they were called King White Man. Otherwise, that would be a bit odd. Uh, didn't need to turn there. I don't know what I was doing. I was expecting to go down that road or something, which I don't really need to. And one thing I was thinking of, I actually really, really want to get a wheel for this game. Now, the problem I have... Oh, really? Really? You're trying to mess, mess me up there. Um... I'm mainly a PlayStation gamer, and if I get a wheel for the PlayStation, it's going to be very expensive. And I don't really want to fork out on two wheels when I can't afford one at the moment. Um, you know, for one series. And it's annoying because the only people stopping this happening is Microsoft themselves. They don't want you to use a different wheel on a different like, console. It's like, oh yeah, use, use ours, because we get a percentage, and we get to get your money from buying racing games on our platform specifically, and the wheels are more expensive than the bloody consoles themselves. It's like, excuse me? It's a bloody controller for the game. I'm sorry, but if I was getting a whole racing chair setup kind of thing, then yeah, but I'm not. I'm getting a, a wheel that inputs into the game and it costs more than the console, it's, and it's going to not work on the next console. It's just... Yeah. It's just air. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what else have we got left here? We've got an event here, uh, which is... Oh, there's another one there. I was going to say, it can't be the last one. I swear I've only done one. Um, so, we've got Extreme Off-Road Cross Country, and we've also got another Cross Country. Now, I've, I've kind of come... After that last race there, I've come to realise that I'm not a massive fan of cross-country. Uh, I'd rather just be literally on-road or off-road. A or B. Not A and B. Because A and B does not work. Start this event, please. Did I fast travel there instead of starting it? Can I start on the map? I'm not even sure. You see, my brain becomes absent-minded very, very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly indeed. But here we go. It's next race. It's an extreme off-road in San Giovanni. And it's actually sunny on this one. So I might do a little bit better. We'll, ne we'll never know. Well, we'll do. After I've been in the, the race. Let's jump into it here. Awesome. I'm really liking that Blue Raptor. I really want to try that at some point. It's just like such a... I don't know, it's... Blue's just a brilliant colour for cars as well. I was saying in the last episode how, like, black and white are the... Uh, a fitting colour for any car. Recently, for me, dark blues have looked fantastic, like a metallic dark blue. Uh, midnight blue on GTA. Now, it's the weirdest combination ever, but I've got an adder at the moment, which is gold and uh, chrome, which kind of makes sense, right? It's, like, very, very expensive stuff. And that was so wide! <laughs> um, but originally, people that have been following me for a while will know that my adder was midnight blue and had orange stripes now that sounds like a ridiculous color combination but good god it looked amazing i'm really tempted to go back but i would have wasted like what is it 50k on bloody gold so it's like yeah do i buy another adder <laughs> that's an option or do i literally just deal with it and, and wait and i guess that's another thing to talk about next gen gta i want to know actually who is picking up next gen gta and what platform are you getting on because I'm obviously getting it on the PS4, that's my main platform. Um, may get it on, obviously, PC when that comes out for mods and such. Have I missed the checkpoint? Yes, I have. And, uh, obviously, Xbox One's kind of an afterthought. I'm not literally gonna 
play it on that platform. Whereas PC, you know, and PS4 has a meaning I can play it normally on my PS4 and because my friends have it and then, you know, yeah. So, there's a lot of stuff coming back, like the Jukes. The Jukes from GTA 4 is returning and they've got like some massive, like, off-roady version. Looks friggin' awesome. I can't wait to drive. It's gonna be, uh... It, it kind of reminded me of the crew when they showed it. It's like some off-road dirt spec version of the Jukes and I cannot wait to have the normal version and the off-roady lucky version to just muck about with because <laughs> I love the Jukes in GTA 4. Uh, but what I was thinking, it's going to be a little bit weird because the physics changed drastically from GTA 4 to GTA 5. Um, they were kind of made easier to understand, I guess, for, for the newbie and easier to get around. It's it's good in some ways, but to me, I'm going to miss the whole old heavy feeling of the Jukes. And I believe in a screenshot there was also the Stallion, which was also one of my faves. I'm talking about a lot of random stuff, aren't I? I like that. I like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, but as I said, let me know what platform you're getting next gen GTA on. If you're getting it at all, because I'm interested. Um, I know a couple of people watch GTA uplo uploads. Not as many people watch my, my GTA videos, which is understandable. You know, if you don't like GTA, that's fine. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun playing custom maps on that game. So if you're looking for something to do, I would actually really suggest you try those because that's that's made me go back to the game and have so much more fun again and just have a fantastic time. oh we got a wheel spin wheel spins usually work amazingly for me when i'm recording i've had it mess up once but here we go can we get a good one today no we're going to get a shite one because exactly i was expecting a good one and obviously that means it's going to be shite can i just press select no i have to fast travel that's annoying it's like why can't i just begin the event in its current location and then be done with it you know that kind of thing but no you want me to travel to that location, and then start the event, then choose my car, then wait for more loading to load the drivers and stuff. It's like, yeah, you could have just made me select it from the map. But of course not. Um, There we go. I thought it crashed for a second. I was like, no, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like do a jump cut here. <laughs> jump cut and be like, yeah, uh, so it crashed. Let's, let's try that again and do all the races again because it didn't save my data. Last race. Then we can get rid of this bloody Raptor. As much fun as it's been driving this Raptor, there aren't enough hills and stuff on this. Like, if there was a big, massive hill to climb up, like, say, in the crew, ho, 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 you straight away, I am definitely, you know, going to do that in the crew now. I've just said that. Um, make a big off-roady Raptor and just have videos where I'm climbing mountains and stuff because I can. I can't wait. And that's another thing. Uh, I was thinking of doing these style of videos on the crew. Not a let's play, but every now and again, I'll jump in and I'll kind of progress in the game. Now, in that way, I will also be able to like, avoid the story, obviously. I want to avoid the story. Maybe when I'm upgrading cars, trying new cars, that sort of thing. And I think that would be a good way to, to, for you guys to experience the game before, obviously, you, you know, you get the game kind of thing. I, I guess it's basically just like me and EK's videos but with myself, and obviously if other people get the game and that I, I record with, then you know, I play with them. But I think this this style of video would see the crew like exploring together and just kind of figuring things out, that, rather than a let's play. Because as much as I like a let's play of games, uh, it means I get to share it with you. It's a lot of hassle for me because it means I can't play the game as I normally would. And I've kind of expressed my opinion on Let's Plays before, but I don't need to go into that again. But anyway, we should actually concentrate on the race here and actually try and finish in the top position, because why would we not? Um, now, there's a, there's a thing in it with these videos, though. I don't want to go too off topic, because if I do, I think like that just remotely changes the whole idea of the video. You're watching this video, not for the driving, you're now watching it because I'm chatting out my bloody backside. Uh, but at the same time, I'd, I'd like to kind of just, you know, talk about everything. Um, so, uh, one thing I'm going to mention is, like, what would you would you like that? Because one thing, for example, I'll bring up this. I've been watching a series. Is it Orange is the New Black? My friend told me about it, right? And it's actually really, really good. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go into a lot of detail, but I've, I've been watching that for the past couple of days. And it's kind of, I'm trying to... Do everything that's important and then wrap those episodes around it because it's such a good series. Um, that's it! He's so like hyperactive when he says that. 
We completed it. Champion. Oh, that shot looks fantastical. Give me that money. And you've, you've given up on turning the wheel to make it look cool. Good job, Nathan Drake. Well done. You got us some money and you completed that. But, uh, yeah. As I was saying, let me know if you want me to go, like, majorly off topic. I think I should stay on topic of the game itself. Uh, I went off a bit today on, like, GTA and such, but I'd be interested to know. I'm, like, I'm kind of testing okay, the waters at the San moment, Giovanni, so for now, at least. that's... Uh... Back up at the hub and we'll set off for the next road trip. All right, we will. Uh, but, yeah, that, as I said, it, it's kind of just testing the waters and such now to see uh, what you guys think and see what I should talk about and such. But, anyway, this has been me and my Raptor once again. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for what you want to see next time, like, what, what type of uh, tournament you want to see, because I'm going to go to the next one and... I'm thinking of driving something I haven't driven yet, so if you've got any idea of what you haven't seen me drive yet, let me know down in the comments and we'll see what we can cook up for the dinner. Anyway, like if you did enjoy, I'll see you next time guys, subscribe for more. Peace. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I don't think I was supposed to do that. We've all got wanted levels. I don't know. Why the hell do I keep flipping? I just blew up. <laughs> Here we go. That's what I'm not talking off a cock's sake. <laughs>